Okay, what we're looking at here is Twitter. And unfortunately, lots of people dismiss Twitter without actually understanding what it is. It's become a kind of a shorthand for wasting time or being trivial. So I want to show you a couple of things that you can do on Twitter, which, and you know, it is perfectly possible to open up Twitter and say, I had a, you know, roasted pig for lunch. But you certainly don't have to. And certainly you get what you you get what you find in Twitter. Like if you if you follow people who put trivial things in, yes, you're gonna get trivia. Um, but you can put in, you know, I am making a um, tutorial for school, which is not super interesting, um, about Twitter, and I'm gonna hashtag it, and I'll explain what this is in a minute. I'm gonna hashtag it e-learning. So I tweet that. And it turns up there, Mark O'Mara, I'm making a tutorial for school about Twitter. Now, that hashtag means that when I click on that, I will now see every tweet in recent history that has also used e-learning. So what teachers really think about game-based learning, that's that same thing retweeted, there's something else. So that you can actually follow a kind of vein of ideas when people hashtag them. So that's one of the things that you can do. Another thing that you can do is you can actually respond to what people have said. So let's say we're going down here. Now, June Thomas is a, a journalist in the United States, and she's writing about this. I can actually hit reply, and I can write something at her name. So I can respond with a comment of my own. Now, I'm actually not going to make a comment because I don't have anything to say. But I can comment on that, and she will be able to see that if she wants, and so will other people. So it is kind of out there in the public forum, but it is possible to have exchanges with people. And in actual fact, if we go back to this and say I want to expand it, uh, one person has favoured it and nobody has responded to it. But if we look for something else, for instance, Megan Abbott is a... Um, is a novelist. If we expand hers, there we go, a bunch of people have already replied to her so that you can see what the conversations are. So just to recap, Twitter is what you make it. You can add stuff yourself. You can decide who it is that you're going to follow and you can actually engage in conversations with them. There's a lot more to it, but that's probably a good start.